Hello everybody, here a new video from René from Spain and in this video I just want to talk about records I've been playing I just had some milk and now I'm listening to Countdown to Extinction by Megadeth but I've been playing a lot of cool, cool albums lately for example I've been playing the debut album by Battle Cry, by Omen, sorry called Battle Cry I mean, this is just an amazing uh, US uh, metal band, US power epic metal band, I would say. At least the first albums are very cool, you know, very good albums. This album is probably my favorite by them, Warning of Danger. Both, you know, came out around the mid 80s. You cannot go wrong with them. Check out the song march on for example you know that song takes you like to the roman empire you know that that time you know with gladiators and stuff like that i mean that's the way i feel when i listen to this termination for example for example hell's gates don't fear the night great songs and on this one we have dragon breath breath uh, Die by the Blade, Death Rider, of course, it's a classic Omen track. First, they appeared on the Metal Massacre. I don't know if it was two or three. You know, they were on number two or number three. And then later, of course, they released the first album, Battle Cry, '84, and this one, I guess, '85. Great albums. Uh, I have, or I'm about to listen to the debut album by Wins Nail solo, Exposed from '93. I still bought this one on vinyl when it was released, because in Europe a lot of the albums were still released on vinyl. During like '92, '93, '94, you could still find the vinyl in the shops, and I decided to buy this one on vinyl. So many great songs on here. The single Sister of Pain. Um, you're invited, but your friends can't come. The guys from Damn Yankees were involved in that song. You know, they, they composed the song together with Vince Neil. Uh, Can Change Me is one of my favorite songs on this album. Yeah, just a uh, great heart and heavy album. It still, still sounds very much like late 80s, early 90s hard rock. I've also been reading or rereading my old Snake Pit magazines. Always a lot of fun. So much info in these magazines. Small letters. But the interviews are so long. Some interviews are like 10 or 15 pages. In this case, we have Acid from Belgium, Raven, Griffin, um, Obsession, and a lot of other great bands. Let me check when this was released. This was released... It doesn't even say so. No, it doesn't say so. I'm sure, if I look at the adverts, then I could guess, you know, when this was released. But I think this came out, MySpace was still around. So it was like maybe 13 years ago, 13 or 15 years ago. And this is number 19, Snape It. Always nice, a lot of fun. To, um, to read. Also, with my family, I've been watching the latest Ghostbusters movie. Um, I liked the one before Afterlife, I think it was. I liked one more than this one. I would give this a 7,5. And Afterlife, uh, I gave it an 8,5. You know, I think um, yeah, some scenes are a little weak. Of course, there's a lot of action scenes, but 
Yeah, it's not my favorite Ghostbusters movie. The extras on it are nice on this DVD. And also this week, yesterday we went to see the movie Twister at the theater, so the cinema. It's like uh, a little bit like the movie Twister for '96. A lot of action, a lot of amazing uh, footage. You know, like of course, all things are for sure done by computers, but not everything. And it's really cool to see those tornadoes forming, and the storyline is quite good too. I would give it a 7,5. You know, um, Twister. And Twister, the first one from '96, I would give it an 8 or 8.5. I have it actually on VHS, Twister. But Twisters, go to the movies if you want to see like a, just a fun action movie, you know. Okay, what more can I show? Because I thought I would end this video. Oh yes, I've been listening to Fade No More, Quite a Bit 2. And here we have the second album. And the third album, of course, the second is my uh, sorry, my, the second is my favorite. The third from '91, I think this was, um, still has some very good songs, of course, on it. But it's it's uh, it's uh, it's not as good as um, the real thing. But I also listen to the fourth album for a lifetime and it's really really weak really weak this album but I, I remember not even buying it when this was released but now I have of course I have also these on tapes but now I have a nice box set this is a live album actually it came out on VHS I also have the VHS at the back there I can show you that straight away now just to make this video a little longer and for sure you guys are bored anyway and like this actually I have two fake no more but here we have this one see great cover song by Warpix is on here of course we have the We Care A Lot from the debut album big hit the real thing falling to pieces from out of nowhere I mean this band was loved by many people. If you were into thrash metal, you liked them. If you were into uh, funky metal, you liked them. If you were back then even into grunge, you know, or heavy metal, probably you would like also Fate, Fate No More. Because they, they were a little bit of everything. You know, they had thrash metal songs, uh, hardcore influences, crazy funny, uh, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, early days influences, you know, there's a crazy, crazy band. And I also have this one, the video clips, video croissants. <laughs> and because I started getting very much into the 90s, I also got out my Woolgar Display of Power album. Maybe my favorite song is the last song, Hollow. Check the song Hollow. Hollow, it's an amazing song, just check it out. And Phil Anselmo, even he screams on here, of course, but he still sounded good. You know, his voice had a good sound. Nowadays, his voice is like totally damaged, you know. But, yeah. And the new level, of course, is uh, this love. And it was not only heavy, heavy, heavy. You had the slower parts too. Cabo from Hell and Woolgar Display of Power are my favorites from the later albums. I am more into Pantera from the 80s, you know, the, those hard and heavy albums and the power metal album. But this is finally not as bad as many people thought, including me, during the 90s. Of course, we know all the songs on here. And I think I will leave it. I also could show. I was going to make a separate video. I quickly, quickly show it. But I'm not going to talk about it. I was going to make a separate video in the future.
just a separate video in the future. Okay, everybody, have a great killer summer, motherfuckers! Stay metal!